Hey, and welcome to today's video. We'll be talking about the following GRV math subject test problem. It involves a helix in three space. The helix has parametric equations given as follows. Uh, and the information that you're given is that there's a point P of theta naught and the distance, or sorry, the length along the helix from P of theta naught to the point five zero zero is 26. And then it asks for the distance from this point to the origin. So we can start by actually trying to find out what this point is given this length information. Uh, it turns out this question was only answered correctly by 24% of the participants. And I think a big part of the reason why is when you're on a test like this, you might just forget what the formula for arc length is in three space. So what I wanna do is talk about what would happen in the situation where you sort of forget the formula for something and using some basic tools and principles can recall what the, what the formula might be. So imagine we have this helix and we wanna approximate the length, thinking about the fundamentals of what we do in calculus, that would involve separating the arc into line segments that approximate the length of the curve and then adding up all of those line segments as we keep doing so along the curve. Okay, so let's imagine we have one of these pieces, that's this line segment, approximating our red curve. What does this distance look like? So here we have some generic point x, y, z. And then here we have x plus a little bit, that's what dx stands for, y plus a little bit, which is dy, and z plus a little bit, which is dz. So the distance from this point to this point um, which is length of this line segment, is uh, the square root of dx squared plus dy squared plus dz squared. Okay, so that's the length of this line segment that's used to approximate this one piece, and now we're adding up all of these line segments and doing it over infinitesimal distances, adding up over a bunch of infinitesimal distances is what the integral is all about. So we'd be integrating this quantity for theta going from whatever theta is for this point to theta naught. Great. Um, so in fact, from this intuition, we do get the formula for the length of this thing, which is the integral from something to theta naught of the square root of dx by d theta squared plus dy by d theta squared plus dz by d theta squared d theta. Now we're starting from the point five zero zero. At that point theta is zero, that we recognize that from the last coordinate, so we'll be integrating here from zero to theta naught. And the information we're given is this length is actually 26. Okay, um, so the derivative with respect to theta of the x-coordinate is uh, five, negative five cosine theta. So this is negative five sine theta squared. This thing is five cos theta squared. And here we have one squared. Because sine squared theta plus cos squared theta is 1, this sum works out to be exactly 25, but this 1 is 26. So the argument inside of here is the square root of 26. Well, that's convenient because we have a 26 here. So this tells us that 26 is the square root of 26 times the length of this interval, which is theta naught. So theta naught is 26 over root 26, which is root 26. Great. Okay, so that gives us the information of what p theta naught is. p theta naught is 5 cosine root 26, 5 sine root 26, root 26. And so the question is what the distance between this and the origin is. Um, okay, that is the sum of the, the square root of the sum of the squares of its components. 
Again, we'll have a cosine squared and sine squared added up, which is one. So this gives us the square root of 25 squared, or five squared, which is 25, plus root 26 squared, which is 26, giving us root 51. All right, so what's the moral of the story with this problem, really? I did some of these calculations at the end quite quickly. The moral is, I think, in a situation like this, is, especially when you're answering so many questions, it's easy to just forget what the formula for arc length is. But remember, the whole point of calculus is starting with finite things and using that to approximate things that are curved, using linear portions, right? So drawing a picture, we can get back to the type of formula that we need in order to figure out what arc length is in terms of derivatives and integrals. So I hope you liked today's video. If you did, please click the like button. And if you'd like to see more videos like this, subscribe to the channel.